Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for dropping in again. It's really great to see you. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a tutorial on how to incorporate stick tricks into your plane. Now, on the last uh, tutorial I did for stick tricks, we were looking at half clips. Um, where we were like, just throwing the stick up in the air and catching it at the other end. Okay? Like that. Okay, so start with the tip up at the top like that. And then you're just going to gently, just to remind you, uh, gently keeping your eye on the stick to stay nice and safe so the stick doesn't hit you in the face or drop on the floor while you're trying to play a piece of music or you're on stage performing. Um, so you're starting with the stick with the tip pointing up, you're going to chuck it gently and just catch it at the other end again, and then again, and again, and again. Same with the other hand. I'm always keeping the eye on my, my eye on the stick, okay? making sure that everything's nice and safe. Okay. Um, so we're just going to alternate that quickly. If you turn your volume up a little bit, you'll be able to hear the sound of the stick landing in my hand and you'll see that they're equally spaced apart. Okay, that's very important. Awesome. Okay, the other exercise we looked at was doing half flips with both hands at the same time. Again, I'll be watching the sticks uh, to make sure everything's uh, done properly so that I'm nice and safe and that the sticks don't drop on the floor, so I'm sorry if I'm not looking at you guys. Okay, so half flips again, but with both sticks at the same time. Nice one. Okay, so... Um, what you can start doing then is you can start making up patterns out of them, so like uh, alternating between. Now remember, the um, if I'm doing throws with both sticks at the same time, um, it's going to appear slower because when you're alternating hands, um, the gap that would appear with both sticks in the air um, is actually being filled up by the other stick when you're using one hand at a time. But when you switch to both sticks at the same time, It appears to slow down. Um, okay, but it's it's exactly half the speed. Okay, it doesn't want to slow down too much. Um, okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how to um, incorporate this into some playing now. Um, so what you'll be able to see, you can't you can't see the whole my whole setup. I've removed my um, high tom and middle tom from my bass drum for this tutorial. Um, I've got my crash cymbal here. And my snare drum here, you can just about see that. And my bass drum down here, just off camera, but it's just hanging out down there. Um, okay, now, you don't just have to work with the crash cymbal, snare drum and bass drum. Um, for this exercise, you can use any parts of the kit. I'm just using these three components because they're the ones I've chosen. Um, just for future reference, um, some people refer to um, the bass drum as the kick drum. Okay, um, it's down to personal preference, whichever you prefer. I usually uh, call it the bass drum. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to get you familiar with just a nice simple rhythm first, okay, um, and then we're going to work some tricks in. So what we're going to do is we're going to play our crash cymbal and our bass drum or kick drum at the same time, um, just like this. <laughs> So both together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the snare drum on its own like this. Simple as. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to try and just move that rhythm around a couple of times. Okay. So just see if you can follow what I'm doing. Fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to try and do now is incorporate some of these half flips at the same time, okay? Now, you might find this a little bit tricky at first, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, you don't have to do it at the speed that I'm playing at, okay? Just take it at your own speed. Um, just going over um, some a couple of safety things uh, first, just to make sure that you guys are safe. Um, if if you're if you're young, make sure that you've got an adult with you to supervise. Make sure that 
um, you remember to follow all the uh, safety instructions and everything like I was saying make sure that the stick you've always got your eye on the stick and also that it goes straight up and back down okay what you don't want to do and I'm not going to demonstrate this because I don't want to hurt my face um, you don't want to throw the stick up and towards yourself at the same time like that okay so make sure they go straight up and straight back down catching it at the other end like that. okay so what we're going to do is um, there's a bit of coordination to this so like I say take your time with it um, I'm going to strike my crash cymbal and play my bass drum at the same time I'm going to use my right hand for this okay now at the same time as I do that um, I'm going to turn a little bit sideways on for this um, with my left hand I'm going to do a half flip at the same time okay just like that I'm sorry if you can hear noises outside guys it's uh, middle of summer and all the neighbours are having fun um, so yeah uh, I'm going to strike with my right hand and half flip with my left hand at the same time okay so let's see if we can get this this is going to be really bad if um, if I fail at this now because um, I don't have editing software and I'd have to restart the tutorial all over again and we are now six and a half minutes in so um, okay so bass and crash at the same time along with a half flip at the same time as well okay like this okay let's try that again What I'm going to do, guys, I'm noticing that um, when I catch the stick, it's kind of just al aligned with the uh, crash cymbal, so I'm just going to raise that up a little bit, just so you guys can uh, see a little bit better, okay? Okay, so here we go again. So I've got my left hand here. Okay, so now what we're going to try and do is, like I was saying, we're going to hit the snare drum with the stick that we've just been flipping and we're going to half flip with the other hand like that at the same time, okay? So what it should look like is this okay, and again and again one more time awesome, so far so good okay, so now what we're going to try and do we're going to be a little bit down now we're going to see if we can work the uh, the whole thing together, okay? Like I say, take it nice and slowly. I'm certainly not going to rush this. Um, and we'll see how we get on. Okay? You ready? Let's go. Awesome. Um, so, what I want to do with you guys now is uh, teach you guys a new trick. Um, another another one that you can kind of work into the mix um, so just to recap so far the ones that we've we've done are half flips one hand at a time like that and half flips both hands at the same time remember keep your eyes on the sticks do not take your eyes off the sticks whatever you do okay so what I'm going to do now, <coughs> uh, to help you guys out, I'm going to turn a little bit more side on so that you can see what I'm, what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'll bring that down to the side. Now I don't know how much um, you guys have ever done of um, juggling objects in the past. Now um, traditionally juggling is done with uh, three objects, but we're just going to use a pair of drumsticks for this, okay? Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to teach you this in, uh, in stages, okay? So I'm going to put one of my sticks down for a moment, just there on my floor, Tom. Oh, you can't see that, but it's just down here. Um, and what we're going to do is, um, there's, there's three stages to uh, doing this trick. There's the throw, the pass, and the catch. Okay? Um, so what I want to get you guys familiar with first is uh, just doing the pass. Okay? So we've got one of our sticks here, the other one's just to the side. And you're just very gently going to chuck it back and forth between your hands, like that. Just pass it back and forth. Don't have to do it hard, don't have to rush it. It's really, really just nice and relaxed, nice and chilled out. Okay, 
So when you get uh, comfortable with that, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the other stick. Um, so we're going to put two parts together now. This part is going to be the throw. Okay. Now, just to uh, help you guys along with this, what we're going to do is we're going to throw the stick up in the air. We're going to pass the other stick across like we just did. Um, but the stick that you threw, you're just going to let it drop on the floor. Okay. Don't panic about catching it or anything. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw and pass. Okay. Like this. Throw, pass. And again, throw, pass. One more time. Throw, pass. Okay. So the final part is the catch. So, like I was saying before, the process goes throw, pass, catch. Okay. So all you're going to try and do, the stick that you just let drop on the floor, uh, this time, instead of letting it drop on the floor, see if you can catch it with your empty hand after you pass the other stick across. Okay? So watch. Throw, pass, catch. Throw, pass, catch. You'll notice, again, I'm watching the sticks. I'm watching what they're doing so that it doesn't drop on the floor. I don't miss it. It doesn't hit me. Um, and I'm not throwing it towards myself either. I'm throwing it straight upwards. Throw, pass, catch. Throw, pass, catch. Okay? Fantastic. Again, um, I'm sorry if I'm not spending a lot of time repeating the trick round and round. It's just that um, I don't want to run the risk of, um, like I say, uh, dropping the stick on the floor or something going wrong because I'd have to restart the tutorial again. Um, okay, so um, what you can then do is um, let's see if we can come back around here again to the kit. There we go. And what we're going to try and do is... Um, work all the three different tricks into the um, into the same mix, okay? So, <clears throat> let's start with uh, some half flips, uh, just one hand at a time, with that rhythm that we practiced before. Okay, nice. Um, now what we're going to try and do, we're going to do half flips with both hands at the same time while we just hit the snare drum and crash cymbal. Again, remember you can you can use anything, any parts of the drum kit for this. It's just that I'm sticking with the snare drum and crash cymbal for this tutorial. Okay, so I'm gonna have a snare drum and crash, and then I'm gonna half flip with both sticks. Again, it appears at half the speed, okay? So what we're going to try and do is put those together now, okay? So the half flips with alternating hands and then the half flips with both hands at the same time. Let's try it. Fantastic, guys. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let you guys get to grips with um, doing the juggling trick, and then I'm going to teach you that in the next tutorial, how to work that into your playing as well, okay? So, just to recap again, you've got your half flips, keeping your eye on the stick, remember, make sure you've got somebody there to make sure you're doing it safely, nice and gentle, half flips with uh, alternating hands, like that, half flips with both hands at the same time, Again, notice how the, the sound of the stick landing in my hands is equally spaced. Okay, and then the juggling trick, move on to the side again, so I've got a bit more space. By the way, I'm only moving to the side, side on so that you guys can see properly, you, you'd normally do it facing the kit so that you can work it into your plane. Um, okay, so you got throw, pass, catch, throw, pass, catch, throw, pass, catch. Okay, fantastic. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial, guys. Um, 
I'm sorry, it's, uh, I, I was supposed to put it out yesterday, but um, it ended up being a really, really, really busy day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video clips of Summit playing at Dogfest in Burnley. That was a really, really amazing performance. Um, so, um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could um, go to the Drumming School, Drumming School Facebook page. Um, join the page there. There's, there's other things on there, like... Um, you can leave things like reviews, you can uh, check out the photos from uh, students doing the past performances, that sort of thing. You can catch up on what um, our students have done in the past, over the years before we launched this YouTube, cha YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, um, obviously, just like always, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, hit the subscribe button, um, get those statistics up, that would be a really, really massive help. Um, and yeah, just give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Feel free to send any um, any up update video clips of you guys uh, trying to work these tricks into your playing. See if you can work work that in, and then send some video footage over to the Drumming School's Facebook page as well. Um, best of luck with it, guys. I really can't wait to uh, hear how you guys are getting getting on with it. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye.